Hello everyone, this is Davey Boy here, and I'm going to show you how to make your very own Finance of Freddy's 2 on Scratch. Now, this is just footage of the completed project on my account that, um, you know, is public right now. You can play it if you want. I'll send a link in the description to the game link, and I'll also show the link in the description to the first game as well. But, it can be really hard to make a Finance of Freddy's game, but as long as you listen to my steps it shouldn't be a problem after you listen but anyway thank you very much and enjoy just before we start um if you want to use um the original textures from the original game of fnaf 2 which i am actually using just um go to this link i'll put in the description the mega dump and then just select fnaf 2 textures and fnaf 2 audio and uh, yeah you should be set but anyway Good luck on making this FNAF game, and um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, of course, um, get rid of the scratch cap. We don't need that. And let's give our project a name. So, I'm going to name it Five Nights at Freddy's 2, but name it whatever you like. But if you want to make Finance of Freddy's 2, if you really want to make it, then um, yeah, I'd recommend naming the Finance of Freddy's 2. Now, what you want to do is click on you click here, and then go to Backdrops, and then you want to change this to Black, because in the actual game, the backdrop or background is back Black, and the Click Team Fusion. But, anyway, what I'm going to do is... Well, it'll go like this. I'm going to import all of the textures that you need to um, make the main menu, and I'll explain all the coding um, when I do that. So anyway, guys, I'll be right back. It'll be butter setting for you. It'll be a lifetime for me. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Okay, everyone, I'm back, and I'm going to show you all the things that you need to do to make the main menu now so first you need three new variables one called game status one called newspaper transparency and one called the night you need a new list called save and um the ones how it's going to work basically is the variables are in caps and the lists that are in caps are for all sprites and the ones that are in lowercase are for this sprite only just to, um, you know, sort ourselves out a little bit more. But, uh, once you create a save, just make sure that you um, add beat 5 to save, beat 6 to save, and beat game to save, because you'll need it later on. So, also, to stop the first brag sprite from having problems, make sure you add in a blank sprite at the start of this, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so the first bit of code is probably the easiest bit. Just it's the warning message. Um, now, some of these sprites won't be completely transparent, so you have to get rid of all of like the grey bits and some of these and yeah, stuff like that. And yeah, it will take a while for you to find all these sprites because it is a uh, yeah mixed. It's like a dump of sprites. They're they're not sorted in folders. But anyway, this is the first bit of code you got to do. I need to make sure you've made you make messages called customize night, load night, main menu, store newspaper, and start. Okay, so that's that. You just need to copy this code in. And then for the main menu sprite. By the way, this is a uh, separate. These are the animations I've added into the the main menu, like you know the main menu, of course. <laughs> oh, by the way, make sure you import that the sound, the music, you know the the, the title um, music. Now for the static, bit easy, bit easier, you know. Then there's a tile, 
Not much you gotta do here. Hmm. And make sure you throw every sprite when flag is clicked hide. There you go. Just want to continue sprite. Six night sprite. And yeah, we need to make sure that if save contains beat 5, then this will show. The custom night, if save contains beat 6, then we show this one. Basically the same thing, just the difficult different expositions. Now the point are right. This is where you've got a little bit of more different work, right? So. Um, you go down here, you go put your points in to, um, you know, click on like new game, continue, 6 night and custom night. This is what you've got to type in. And if you want it, and how I found the coordinates, by the way, if you're um placing your um new game and continuing all these sprites in a different place, make sure you use this. This is a little t like test block to just test this out, but I don't need, don't need that anymore. So sorry if I'm not helping that much, but. It is a really big game, and main menu is just really the start of it. So yeah, now we're going moving on to the gold stars. This is where I actually need the clones. Now, this custom block, right? Make sure that when you create this custom block, you type click tick run without screen refresh. Because if you don't, then the clones are going to create like just one at a time. Because Scratch always assumes that um. Here, create you want to create moving animations. So, okay, and I've added static too. I'll show you the these are the sprites I've added, and you don't have to add these sprites in if you don't want to. They're just sprites that I decide to add in, you know. And there's another custom block blip. And this time, don't click run without screen refresh because otherwise that will ruin it. Okay, and then you just look in this code here. Static free. You're probably wondering where I'm going to be using the game status. You'll find it soon, but here's all of the codes for the newspaper. And there's the code for the night. And then the night number. So law code, but if you look closer, then should be fine. And then this is just the night loading screen. It's pretty good. And then yes, this is where we're going to be starting from next. And then finally, uh, on the inside the background, I've added some code for the background or the backdrop, and that's what you need to put in. And yeah, that's um pretty much all of the codes and this is the um the result. So you click on the game and click on new game. So I could wait for um a few seconds. Or I could just press the mouse. And then it'll just slowly fade away and then we go. We're in. And also if I click on continue, it does the same thing. The customer doesn't do anything yet because we're not going to program that yet. We're going to program it later on. But as you can see, it does stop everything when you click on custom night. And finally, if you click on the sixth night, voila, we're on the sixth night. And then this is where the fun begins. We add in the office, the flashlight, the vent lights, the panning camera, the cameras. Um, the mask, all of that stuff, the fan as well, a lot of stuff, we've got a code in the office. But, thank you very much for watching, I hope this helped you make the main menu. You don't have to make the main menu the way I did, but, you know, it'll be quite difficult though, because you will have to look around for the sprites. But, thank you very much for, um, watching this game, or uh, this tutorial on how to make FNAF 2 on Scratch part one main menu and I'll see you all next time.
Bye.